In this video, we're going to look at making V-Ray material definitions for metal materials in Rhino 3D. I have open here a scene with three different objects that I'll be using to test out these materials. I also have a sunlight system set up to light the scene. I'm going to open my asset editor and move to my materials. And I'm going to create three generic materials. I'm going to open this asset editor to the right. Let's double click the first material name and call this Chrome. Second material, let's call this oil rubbed bronze, perhaps. And the third material, hmm, let's call this soft nickel. For my chrome material, I'm going to make the diffuse color absolutely black. And under my reflection settings, I'm going to set my reflection to 100%, turn off my Fresnel effect, and let's apply this to these three objects and click render. The Fresnel effect often dulls, doesn't often, always dulls the reflection based on the angle of incidence. So by turning it off, I get perfectly bright reflection. So my chrome is somewhat mirrored. Let's maybe update this name, Let's call it mirrored chrome, because we could have a softer chrome. For my oil rub bronze, let's apply that to the same selection and set our color to be almost black, but I think I'll add just a tiny bit of a warm tone. Under my reflection, it is going to still be bright, but instead of a white color, I'm going to select the tone of reflection that I would want, make that a warm tone. And oil rubbed bronze often gives off slightly warm tones in the reflection. So let's set that in the reflection color. And for our glossiness, let's bring it down maybe to 0.7 and I think I'm going to leave the Fresnel effect on because the oil rubbed bronze that I'm looking for is far more dull. And if I render now, I'm getting a bit of reflection. Let me, let me set my reflection color a little bit brighter and my glossiness a little bit higher to 0.75. And now we can see perhaps in this render some more reflectivity of the ground, but it's defocused. It's soft and not a sharp reflection because of that glossiness being lower than 1.0. Um, my highlight is soft as well, and I can clearly see that it's picking up that color of my reflection color, and everything that's being reflected is being tinted that color. So now let's go to soft nickel. Let's apply that. Soft nickel I think has a little bit of gray in it. It's not perfectly black and mirrored. It has a reflection color that's quite bright, but I always feel like my nickel has a slight bit of warm tone in it. I'm going to turn off my Fresnel so that it's a very sharp reflection, but not set this to absolute bright and bring my glossiness down to maybe point, say 0.9 and render. And it looks a fair bit like chrome, but it does have some of that warmth. So a nickel has warmth to it. It has softness to it. I think if I had a model that was more detailed and more specific, maybe a, a fixture or some articulated model, it would show up a little bit more clearly. I'm going to drop on my sphere, my oil rubbed bronze, my mirrored chrome onto my box. And then for my soft nickel, I'm just going to exaggerate a little bit my warmth and my lower my glossiness. And let's do a render. And maybe comparatively now we can see the difference, especially in tone between the dark oil rubbed bronze, the very bright and clean chrome in the middle, and then the warm, still very reflective kind of nickel on the left hand side. So that's three different approaches to material to metal materials in V-Ray for Rhino 3D.